Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, April 9th, 2024. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific time. This is episode 818 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Bai Lu and Joseph Cheng officially begin filming Ling Jiangxian. Joy of Life Season 2 releases a statement regarding some illegal video clips that were posted. Formed Police Unit, the action movie that stars Johnny Huang, Wang Yipo, and previously Zhang Zhehan announces a premiere date. And Liu Yining reveals that Cao Liying had recommended him for a role in The Legend of Shen Li. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and yesterday. There's Best Choice Ever starring Yang Zi and Xu Kai, the modern drama premiered earlier today. According to Baidu, in the drama Yang Zi is Mai Chenghuan, a girl who struggles between being filial to her parents and being loyal to herself. Eventually, she decides to break away from her mother's grip and focus on her work. Xu Kai plays a professional hotel manager and Mai Chenghuan's stepmother's grandson. He and Mai Chenghuan strike up a partnership. Best Choice Ever is slated for 38 episodes and is available on YouTube and WeTV with English subs. Then there's City of the City, the modern drama starring Bai Yufan and Yu He Wei. It premiered earlier today as well. According to Baidu, the drama follows Bai Yufan's character, a young graduate, and the challenges he faces as he works his way up the ladder in Shanghai's competitive finance industry. City of the City is slated for 40 episodes and is available on iQiyi with English subs. That's it for what's recently premiered. Before we get out of premiere dates, here's what's recently confirmed and rumored to premiere soon. So I'd previously mentioned two Li Xian dramas that had rumored premiere dates. This first one, Will Love in Spring, which was rumored for today, April 9th, that has not materialized. However, the other drama, Shooting Stars, has. This Republican-era drama in which he stars with Renming confirmed yesterday the rumored premiere date of April 15th. According to Baidu, in Shooting Stars, Li Xian is a proud son from a high-ranking political family. He originally wanted to join the Navy to realize his dream of becoming a captain. However, an unexpected trip to Shanghai changes his life completely. He changes his name and becomes a low-ranking police officer in a rundown station. Shooting stars will stream on Mango TV. A couple of Yang Mi dramas are rumored to premiere soon. In the Name of the Brother, the Republican-era drama in which she stars with Qing Hao is rumored to premiere on April 20th. And Fox Spirit matchmaker Red Moon Pact, the Xianxia drama in which she stars with Simon Gong, is rumored to premiere in late May. I will update again if any of them announces something official. That's it for premiere dates. Moving on, drama announcements and bootings. I have a few for you guys today. We begin with Wind Direction, which announced its lead cast of Sun Qian and Zai Zilu on April 6th. Also in the cast are familiar veteran actors Liu Ling, Tian Yu and Li Naiwen. On the day, they shared an almost 5-minute behind-the-scenes video with lots of on-set footage, so they have been filming for quite a while. According to Baidu, in the drama, Sun Qian plays a young lady born into a family that's worked in an oil field for three generations. The drama follows her journey through the 90s and the ups and downs of her relationships with her friends and her childhood sweetheart played by Zai Zilu. Wind Direction is slated for 32 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. Then there's Beyond the Clouds, a Qing Dynasty drama starring Zhang Yishan and Tan Zhuo. Here are the two leads at the booting ceremony which was held yesterday, April 8th. Here is the entire cast and crew flashing red envelopes. According to Douban, the drama follows Zhang Yishan's character, an ordinary poor boy with mediocre talent, and now he rises to become a famous Peking opera performer. Beyond the Clouds is slated for 40 episodes, no word on what platform will stream it yet. Then there's Back to the Origin, a family drama starring Luo Jing and Ren Susi. They held their booting ceremony on April 8th as well. Here are the two leads with what looks like a life-size plush toy turtle. 
Here is the entire cast and crew on opening day. According to Baidu, Luo Jing and Ren Suxi play a married couple who return to China after living overseas for many years. Comedy ensues when their Western habits and those of their children create friction with their relatives and friends. Back to the Origin is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Mango TV. Probably the drama booting with the most fanfare of them all was the one for Ling Jiangxian, or Immortal of Ling Jiang. The Xianxia drama stars Bai Lu and Joseph Cheng, and all the speculation was proven true when on April 8th, they held their booting ceremony. Here is Bai Lu waving to her fans and posing for them. She does a little twirl in the rain here before checking out more of what her fans prepared for her, and then does more waving and posing. Here is Joseph Cheng addressing his fans with a megaphone. He later accepts gifts and interacts with fans on a more personal level. Here he says to one of them, I remember you. Last year at my birthday event, you didn't make it inside, right? I saw your video. Hope you have been healthy and safe. This year, I'll give you an invite, alright? What a swell guy. Anyway, there is no synopsis on Baidu or Topan yet. I will give more updates on the drama when they provide them. That's it for drama bootings. Moving on, Joy of Life Season 2 recently released a statement regarding some illegal video clips that have been posted. Yesterday, Joy of Life took to Weibo to say, Today, we discovered that some online platforms had spread a large number of so-called Joy of Life Season 2 video clips that were submitted for review. We also found a large amount of false information fabricated about the series. These are all fake links that lead to advertising and phishing. Please don't trust them or give them your personal info or money. Currently, Joy of Life Season 2's post-production work is still underway. The drama added that the above-mentioned behavior had seriously interfered with the normal production and promotion of the series and infringed upon the legal rights of the series producer. They ended by saying that would take legal action. Here is a screenshot of the platform which had posted those illegal clips. Illegal videos and fake links aside, anticipation has been building for the drama which stars Zhang Rouyun, Li Qing, and Chen Daoming. They recently shared this poster to announce breaking 13 million reservations on Tencent. That's it for drama updates. Moving on, I have a once in a while movie update for you guys. Formed Police Unit is an upcoming action movie starring Johnny Huang, Wang Yibo, and Elaine Chung. Yesterday, they officially announced the premiere date of May 1st. The movie follows a small team of peacekeeping officers who encounter bandits during a peacekeeping operation in Africa. Production had started filming in March of 2021, but didn't officially announce themselves until March of this year, three years later. At the time when they started filming, there was another notable cast member, Zhang Zhehan, pictured here on the right, who was presumed to be third build. Leaked images made the rounds, here's Johnny Huang with a fellow peacekeeper. Here's Wang Yipo in full police gear, looking focused. And here's Chang Zhehan on the left with short hair. Ultimately, because of the circumstances surrounding him, he was removed from the show. At the time, there was much anticipation for the movie. Johnny Huang had really established himself as a leading man in uniform. He was just coming off Operation Red Sea and the Thunder. Wang Yibo was just coming off Legend of Fei with Zhao Liying. And Zhang Zhehan was starring in Word of Honor, which was crushing viewing charts. When the movie got shelved, people wondered if they would ever see it again. Evidently, they will on May 1st. That's it for film updates. Before we get to celebrity updates, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Liu Yuning, who recently revealed that he was actually considered for a role in The Legend of Shen Li. Liu Yuning sat down to a live stream yesterday. One of the moments in it led to the hashtag 
Cao Liying once recommended Liu Yining for The Legend of Shen Li, The Trend. The 34-year-old actor said, I can't remember if I've mentioned this before, but Li Ying recommended me for a role in The Legend of Shen Li. Because of that, she, director Deng Ke, and I met up in Beijing and had dinner. Actually, before that, I met the director as well, so when I visited them on set, I was like a friend already. We also spoke about other projects in the future. Liu Yining did not specify which character. According to Weibo reports, the collaboration didn't pan out because of scheduling issues. Liu Yining recently wrapped filming The Story of Pearl Girl with Cao Lusi. Next up, Jackie Chan shared a message on Weibo right before his birthday to say that growing old is a fortunate thing. On April 6th, the day before Jackie Chan turned 70, he shared a message on his personal Weibo. My dearest movie fans and friends around the world, the kung fu film legend began. April 7th has not yet arrived, but many friends have reminded me, brother, it'll be your 70th birthday soon. Every time I hear this number, I still get shocked for a second. Am I already 70? After that, my second thought is what my senior brother Samo Hong once said, being able to grow old is a fortunate thing. Especially for those of us who make action movies, we know how rare this luck is. Jackie also addressed some images that trended recently, images that show him with white hair and a white goatee. Don't worry about my physical condition, he urged. It's for a movie I'm currently shooting. I need to have white hair and a white beard. Over the years, as long as the plot requires it, whether it's thrilling action scenes or different looks, I am willing to try it. I've been in the industry for 62 years and I'm still making movies today. It's something worth cherishing. Jackie is currently filming Whispers of Gratitude with Peng Yi Chang and Carlina Zhang. And that's it for celebrity updates. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week ahead, and I'll see you guys Thursday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.